Oh, hello and uh, welcome to Pioneer. Uh, you can, it's a free space trading simulator that you can get from pioneerspacesim.net uh, details in the description below and a link. Um, as you can see we're playing build uh, the version built on the 29th of November 2016. Uh, it gets uh, updated quite frequently. It's still in alpha so it's uh, not really very polished. It's also a very difficult uh, game to start in. It's, it's uncompromising and uh, I think a lot of the concepts in there are intimidating. But uh, persisting with it has really changed my perspective on our place in the universe. As all good games do, good games are tend to be very provocative. So uh, I would like to share this uh, game with you and the aim of uh, this, is, this video is to get you started quickly and give you the bare minimum that you need to get up in the air and um, uh, start making some money and later on uh, maybe we'll share some of the thoughts uh, that this game has inspired in me. Um, we're going to start at Earth um, because it gives you a fairly reasonable ship. It's a well populated system and uh, there are plenty of opportunities. Uh, and we start off at Los Angeles on Earth. Now the uh, it's, it's not particularly uh, graphically pretty. It's, it's alright, it, but it, it, that does mean that it is play playable on older machines. Without any further ado, let's let's have a look and, and see what what sort of ship you're flying. You're flying a uh, Sinatrix, a randomly generated paint job. Um, got a fairly decent hyperdrive and a base level gun, neither of which we're going to be using today. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of uh, numbers in this game, and they are quite intimidating. But uh, enough of this screen. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get a job that will enable you to f fly from one point to another on Earth and get paid for it. Here we go. Okay, so something to London, something to Shanghai. Let us take the Shanghai one. Okay, the other reason to pick Earth is because the, the locations on Earth are, are well, they're fairly familiar to us. Okay, let's accept this job. We'll set this destination as the navigation target. And okay, we'll hang up. Now, sometimes you will be able to pick up two jobs at the same location. It, uh, uh, that's, a, that's a bonus because you, know, you can do two jobs for in one trip. But uh, on, looks like we're not so lucky this time. Let's uh, launch. We're going to be letting our autopilot uh, do all the work here. So now that we've launched, uh, we'll press the F4 uh, for the communication screen. Uh, and 3 to fly to. Shanghai before we fall out of the sky. Okay, here we go. So this is not a particularly nice view. We can change a view with this icon or by pressing F1. You get an external view of the ship which we can change by holding down the uh, middle mouse button or by using the keypad. Uh, all of the keys are controllable uh, in the option menu which you get to by pressing the escape key and the escape also toggles the pause as well. And now if we want to turn off the HUD and the labels heads up display that is, and labels, press tab Toggle to the pad. Okay, now we are 9.37 million meters, uh, 9,300 uh, thousand uh, kilometers on 
Shanghai. And even though we're traveling at close to three kilometers per second, it's still going to take us uh, hours to get there. And um, that's hours of game time. And uh, I don't fancy spending hours of real time in a simulated flight from Los Angeles to Shanghai. So what we can do is we can uh, accelerate time. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, now you can see I've tried to press on three arrow time acceleration. It's flashing there because it doesn't think it can do it safely. I'm going to force it until uh, we get to about uh, less than 200 or less than 100 kilometers from Shanghai. Now the way that I do that is by holding the control key and pressing the three arrow. The time moves a lot faster. Now that I'm close to Shanghai, I'll press our comms uh, again at 4. Uh, request docking clearance, which is then granted. I can then press comms again. And number 1 to let the autopilot dock with Shanghai. Okay. Okay, I can safely speed up time a little bit. Now, Pioneer is actually a, a freemake of a, an older commercial game uh, from the 90s called Frontier, and I remember really looking forward uh, to getting Frontier, which itself was a sequel to Elite, and playing it on my 386, and, and, and just the thought of now being able to play something so much better, I mean, uh, Pioneer is, is looks so much better, it sounds so much better, and, and it's, it's a lot more playable than Frontier. And if, you, if you'd told me 20 years ago uh, that uh, I'd be playing a game of this quality, or, or playing a remake of my favorite game at this level of quality for free, uh, I would have told you that you needed to get your head read. So it's, it's amazing how far uh, technology has come and um, no, I, I don't can't really describe how else I'm feeling right, except for just gratitude so here we go uh, we are about to dock with Shanghai uh, a docking fee will be applied but we'll get paid. Okay, so uh, there you have it. We've, we've flown from point to point uh, on Earth. Uh, Got paid for it too, which is uh, very important to keep you flying. Uh, that's it, I think, for today. And uh, hope to see you next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching.